So earlier today, I came across something very interesting pertaining to Don Tavian Wicks. And now with Christian Watson dealing with an ankle injury, it looks like Don Tavian Wicks is going to get a lot more looks uh, as, as the Packers, one of the Packers starting receivers. And so it, it came out from PFF and they have this data that shows, you know, separation percentage and, and basically what percentage of routes these receivers are winning. Let me read the definition, then I'll show you where Wicks is in this uh, but it says separation percentage measures how often a receiver beats the coverage to get open rather than benefiting from a defense more focused on limiting yards after the catch or stopping them short of the first down this metric is not limited to just targeted routes instead it looks at all routes run where a defense tries to prevent a receiver from getting open and then if we look at all of 2024 the it says minimum of 25 opportunities Don Tavian Wicks ranks number one out of every single receiver in the NFL in this separation percentage. He's had 28 specific opportunities where they sort of measure this, and he's won, he has snaps with separation 23. So 23 of 28 opportunities, he has gotten separation with a separation percentage of 82.14%. You read some other names around here, Chris Olave is next, then Luke McCaffrey, Rashad Bateman, Rasheed Rice, Justin Watson, Christian Kirk, Mike Evans, Jacoby Myers, Malik Neighbors, and the list goes on. So, Don Tavian Wicks is very, very good at getting open. And I think last season, during his rookie year, there are so many receivers in Green Bay. And when Don Tavian Wicks was on the field, it, it felt like he was always open. And he you know, was starting to get some more looks later last season. And then, of course, this week, with Christian Watson going down early in the Minnesota Vikings game, Wicks was out there a majority of the time, and it's no surprise that he, you know, led the Packers in targets at 13 this past week. He, of course, finished the game as well with two touchdowns, and so there are a few things he needs to clean up. Early in the game, he had some big drops. Clearly, uh, things were going well. Jordan Love kept looking his way. It, se it seemed to me like he started to get into more of a rhythm to where at the end of the game, I mean, he was he was playing really well and finished off with two touchdowns. And so he's a really, really big opportunity here with Christian Watson likely missing the next couple of games. Part of me even wonders that if Wicks, you know, comes in the next game, the next two games, depending on how long Christian Watson misses, if he could potentially surpass Watson as, uh, you know, sort of as, surpass Watson as a starter in this Packers offense, because he's produced at a very, very high level every time he's been in there. Of course, Christian Watson is a higher draft pick. He's more experienced. Um, but you sort of can't deny that Wicks has been the more productive receiver. And if he produces at a high level in the next couple weeks, I think it could be hard to take him out of the starting lineup. I also want to share this other stat about Wicks. This is from Dwayne McFarland on Twitter. He says Packers target shares with Dontavian Wicks on the field the last two seasons, 395 routes. Wicks leads the Packers at 24%. Jaden Reed, 17%. Dobbs, 16%. Kraft, 10%. Christian Watson, 2%. And so when Wicks has been on the field, he's gotten a majority, or he's gotten a the highest percentage of targets at 24%. And so um, he seems to be really, really good at getting wide open, as those stats I shared earlier with you show. And it's no surprise that Jordan Love consistently found him, targeted him the most, because it seems to that he's probably one of the most, if not the most open receiver consistently when he's playing on this Packers team. So that's awesome for the Packers to get, you know, a steal in the draft in Wicks last season, and we'll sort of see how he produces in these next couple weeks. But if you want more Packers content, feel free to subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time.